Okay, people. <laughs> oh, Chicago school, Chicago, Illinois school system. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Markel, ABC, one, two, three, felony ones. It's, your mama should have had that put on you. And <laughs> you wonder why those teachers didn't want to come back to school. You wonder why. You wonder why there's a teacher shortage. But we're supposed to blame the school. How can we blame this on the school? Can somebody tell me? You have two older black gentlemen. They've gotten their education. Two older black gentlemen trying to talk to this like a civilized human being. And look at the look at the language. Talking to the teacher this way. Shut the F up before I knock those M blanking glasses off your head. Shut the F up talking to me. Wow. To the teacher now. And you're supposed to teach, and you wonder why these fools can't, you wonder why they can't read. You wonder why it's a whole lot of this. I'm sorry, you got to face the reality. Black people love to try to make all these excuses. You wonder why it's a whole lot of them in that prison. That's that's where Markel is headed, probably where his dad is at. That's, it, that's if he even knows who, that, who the hell that is. Did the school cause him to behave that way? can follow simple instructions how can you have a how can you even have an intelligent conversation when he's got a trash potty mouth now don't forget in school everything is time you have so much time dedicated to certain subjects so imagine other students trying to learn and you can't and then you got the other one over there mr hamburger helper he's sitting over there blank you blank you blank you where does that come from who's raising them so, but, but we want to go we want to go ahead and blame the school for the pipe the prison pipeline as if they're being raised to be respectful and honorable in the home Boy, the delusion is really thick with this group. And then when I saw the caption, don't give up on them. Don't give up on them. Who in the hell signed? You, first of all, you're not paying that much. Who in the hell is up there signing up for some darn abuse? Don't give up on them. Say, what, well, girl? Don't give up on them. You got to be kidding me, right? This is your our future. He's going through so much pain. This little Negro bring the pain. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still in cars on the weekend. A simple thing. Take a coat off. Can't get that done. Maybe that's why stuff happened to him when they said, put your hands up. Okay. <laughs> now you used to follow a simple command. So who do you think is going to go day in and day out and deal with this? every? And then you wonder why. Well, they can't read what a school name. How can a school teach? You can't even have order. That's why companies are leaving Chicago. That's why they, you wonder why that replacement is here. That's why that replacement is here and it's going to be in full force. Gee, not surprised. Sorry, not sorry. And then you add in illegal immigrants and IA. Who the hell going to deal with this? Markel. Markel is headed to jail. Or they doing it to him because he's black. And th maybe they're doing that to you because you act like that. Is there racism and discrimination? Of course, you think. Add it now, add ignorance on top of that, and you see how life gonna turn out. Denzel said it. The school to prison pipeline starts in the home. Older black folks had a fit I in denial. And I've seen on this right here, some people want to coddle him. Oh, he's full of hurt. No, this is what brings society full of hurt. And, and he might be. That's why I don't understand why they just keep on having these kids out of, out of wedlock. Baby mama, baby daddy. The, I, I, no, I kind of understand some of them. I hate th this right here. It's going to hurt some good people. But it's because of this right here. You have so many of it. That's why they're, That's why it's happening with some of them in this section A. Who wants to live with this around? He might play ball, bust your window out. Hey, we ain't got no money to pay for it. Come outside the tires. On. Who want to live around this? Who? Many HOAs, they won't even last. 
This is why some of these women sitting up here, I ain't done enough. That's why they're getting put out. That's why some of these apartments don't want the Section 8 folks. It's this on the screen. They, they, they don't have to deal with you. You're the lowest on the totem pole. You don't have no land or resources. You, you don't have nothing. And Zaddy can press one button and starve your monkey behind out. That's why those apartment complexes, just get them out of there. You can call the news all you want. They won't even have a conversation. They didn't give me a reason why. Please stop acting brand new. It's probably because you have a son or grandson like Markel hanging around. Look, who, for, who this is school now. Who going to hire this for a job? Can't come in for a job interview. Why are you asking a question? You, you, This may be acceptable in hood culture. It, it just may be. And I seen some of the some uh, I see some kind of calling it. I'm like, wow, really? He's full of pain. He man, I can't say what I want to say in this video. Oh, we, we oh yeah. You want to be a criminal? I start treating them like one. But it's it's the parenting. That that part right there. If you don't know how to parent, stop doing it. But I'm quite sure they're probably getting the check. I wouldn't be surprised. They get they got probably getting the check. We probably paying for that little shirt they got on, and the food in the cupboard. And you wonder why the businesses are leaving. Black is staying is out of hand. And this group will not stand for correction. They're ready to go off on you. So just stand back and watch. Anybody care to see the property? There? I don't have it. His, his mama, I have no sympathy for. Well, he ain't no father in the home. And ain't got much of a mama either. Because how I get this far? There are some. There are a lot of single parents, and their kids are nothing disrespectful. I don't. I ain't trying to hear all that bull crap. And number one, you knew what the daddy wasn't about Jack when you got with him. I doubt he's the only sibling. No father in the home. How many kids you got, ma'am? She might have three to six kids sitting up there. No father in the home, but yet your dumb behind kept on reproducing. Poverty D, poverty P get together, create a tragedy on the community. Out of control. And now I heard a teacher tell me that, and I thought that I was like, maybe it's an older teacher. Now I get it. Saying that some teachers took leave. Mm hmm. Took a leave. Some of them got disability. I, this, this, I understand it. Hypertension. End up getting dis a disability check. Trying to teach these little monsters. But no, and we, we want to coddle them. We want to call them. Then that white man is a white man raising you in the home. Your mama should get rid of him. The anger, the disrespect. Oh, this is a danger right here. I wouldn't be surprised this little thing is packing in this backpack. And then you get around other groups of cultures and you and then you can't read or you can't perform, and then you wonder why. Again, this is just teaching. If this continues, which it more than likely it will, who, who are you going to think going to hire him? He'll have a felony before it's time. Someone said, oh, this is the future. Well, it's not my future. I don't claim no jailbird. This is your future. This, this is the future. He has no future because this country has no use for him. First of all, the skin you and you already had a setback right there. And then you add ignorance with it and violence. The only use they have for you is a prison jumpsuit. That name, don't be surprised to go for Markel. Give it a few years from now. It'll be Markel. Next thing you know, what's your name? Inmate number 8973052. Ask him a smile for a picture. He might, what, what you doing? He'll be to the aisle to the side, left and right. What you, what you, no, what you doing? Doing a prison profile. Who are we gonna blame this on? The mama and disappearing daddy. And these women are not also innocent. Nah, th this is way out of hand. You don't know what kind of man you're laying down with, and girl, you gotta be the dumbest chick on the block. Let the BC. We're gonna make some excuses. Get him to calm down, man. <laughs> oh my god. A simple request. Put the coat. They have hooks in it. Just throw it, just throw it down. And this is why I'm telling you, some of the one with it, they can't get these little vouchers up. Nobody wants them. Who would? If I was leasing a property and I saw this and this little thing showed up, oh, uh-uh. Nope, we're not leasing it. Well, I got, I don't want your voucher. I don't want your money. I don't want nothing. I want you to move to get the hell on.
me and my kids gonna stay under a bridge child and in missouri go to that they said they're gonna hit you with a fine of 750 and it's in 15 days in jail wow you think so prison stocks in missouri so you're homeless i think if you are if you're like under bridge or something and it's like government land i'm like really or state land i mean it's one or the other is it not a fine a ticket of 750 dollars and then 15 days and or 15 days in jail why are your little homies things gonna go and that's what's gonna happen to this right here that is what's gonna happen that's why that replacement is here when you run business and i'm sorry they see the trajectory of the bc like this here in chicago i i understand and think if someone wants to learn you can't out of all this dysfunction it is shocking to me so, so imagine and you want someone to teach it and then you want to holler the kids can't we they they came for perform at grade level the teacher want to survive too and what's the use of getting a college degree when you got to deal with this this on the screen and don't forget in texas i've heard about this here some states you can't put in most states you can't put your hand on them these look he i believe he lied when he said a teacher cussed them out you can't touch them just let them turn the room up that's why and i thought it was rather racist i'd heard some white teachers saying it um so i'm just gonna i thought wow that's very racist that they they were saying i kid you not confidentially i thought wow that is so racist they said i'm not gonna teach them i'm just gonna babysit and just pass them and collect my check i kid you not i thought wow that is very racist they don't, don't want to teach the children you gotta do your job looking at this right here i guess becky want to breathe keep breathing too <laughs> she's like oh she, he might go up and meet you outside i was like i said that is very great i said wow they don't plan on teaching yeah the, the way the way the children and I, I just i really thought i was like that is, i said that's racist you have to leave they're like no just gonna show up and just babysit you know collect collect my check and just pass them now you see why is it the right thing to do no but hell no they've got anybody i don't care what national i've heard black teachers complain my best friend's a teacher not worth it i've heard a parents want to meet you outside here here what what's this here's the paper. sign these papers what is it some of my child i need to sign this paper well no ma'am no no one with your child the reason your child isn't doing school is because he doesn't want to listen to his homework trying to get a something called an ssi check and it's i think an ssi check is like a check you get if the person is like something's wrong so what they're trying to do just to live off their kids is get an ssi check to get more money they don't care about these kids sorry to tell you and if you don't sign those papers the parents that showed up at the school want to box up i need this money you need birth control and a sense of yourself uh, you need a psychiatric consult that's what you need it's time to call a, a psychiatric consult showing up at the school one threatened violence it said the only reason they didn't commit violence is guess what they just got out of jail <laughs> like oh my gosh kidding me so this here mark kale he going through so much pain yep and he's gonna get older he's gonna bring someone so much pain no respect for authority but yeah that's okay but y'all keep on calling and keep on making excuses and that's why they're building more prisons gee i wonder why that's why no one's investing and this on the screen and this right here so i feel sorry for having to deal with it you can't you can't deal with this this is a seat of poverty d right here that's why it doesn't respect this black man right here at the teacher this this is the seat of poverty d a good example of it and all i can say for mark kale i i honestly those teachers just babysit because they know you try to teach them and they're not capable of learning these kids are disturbed they got a lot of problems it's in the home the parents are no the hell of parents about probably worse just babysit and collect my check. I thought that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Hmm. You wonder why they can't read? Don't blame the schools. 
the problems, my opinion, let's start from the home. The school didn't birth him. The school didn't birth him. The school didn't raise him. The pipe to prison pipeline starts in home. I'm out.